welcome to my channel data science anywhere in this lesson i'm going to show you how to get the autocomplete feature in the jupyter notebook something like this if at all i just want to import something let's say pandas as pd see i'm not typing anything it is automatically completing the features for example df is equal to pd dot and data frame i'm not pressing any tab or i'm not pressing anything at all it is automatically getting filled up all right so how i can able to get all this information how i can able to get the autocomplete feature in the jupyter notebook let's see how we can get this before getting started to this the jupyter notebook version that i'm using is jupyter notebook 7 in order to know your jupyter notebook you can click on the help and there you can see about jupyter notebook and there you can see the version of the jupyter is 7.0.6 wherever the jupyter notebook greater than 7 for that it is pretty straightforward you don't need to install jupyter contrib nb extension moreover if at all you're trying to install the jupyter contrib nb installation you will get an error nothing is required it's very straightforward and pretty much straightforward you can easily get the auto feature something like this all right now i'm in the default jupyter notebook where the all the settings are set to default and the version of the jupyter notebook is 7.0.6 and this will work anything jupyter notebook version greater than 7. by default autocomplete feature is not enabled in the jupyter notebook for example if you see import pandas as pd and uh, in order to get the code complete i need to press dot and need to press tab and as soon as if i press tab i can see the options for example i can get this and uh, then even though you can see that uh, you will get only the single bracket and the even the code mirror we are also not working or code mirror is also not set to default and in order to look into the syntax of this this is how we will get let's say i will give some data this is my column one and uh, let's say this is my one and this should be and this should be in the list and now let me close the braces and etc and now press df and this is my column number one and one thing you notice that the everything the braces and everything is not actually autocomplete means the code mirror is actually disabled now in order to enable these kind of feature in the jupyter notebook it's a pretty straightforward in the jupyter 7. what you have to do is you need to go to home this is my home and in the home there you can see the settings click on the settings and scroll down and there you can see the settings editor click on this and this is what the settings page basically it's a json settings editor on the left hand side there you can see some sidebar if you scroll down there you can see some settings are there and the first thing you need to do is that you need to click on the code completion and this is the code completion setting and what you have to do is simply scroll down and search for the option that is enable auto completion enable this or click on check this box this will actually enable the auto completion and then you also see there is a code mirror here click on this code mirror and uh, just scroll up and see there is a code mirror and default editor configuration and there there is an option called auto closing braces you also need to check this box by default this is disabled and you need to check this box okay and the next thing is all about you you can also highlight the active line you can also highlight the white spaces etc and whatever you want you can actually edit your settings and see this okay let me highlight this now once you're done you don't need to do anything you need to safely close the settings and um, go to the go to your files click on this files so that you'll go to the files and you need to close this autocomplete notebook just safely close this and open this again and let me reload this okay so previously this is what we got from this let me 
get after settings see so now let me do the same thing what i can do let me import see i'm not typing anything usually this will get only if i press tab without pressing tab i'm easily getting that let's import pandas as pd and execute this now let's take the data frame one equal to i can use pd dot see without any pressing tab it is automatically displaying the modules or functions is directly available now let me take this data frame and if you press close braces the one thing you need to notice that is it is automatically get close previously it's not the case now it is automatically get close but here the problem is that if you press the curly braces and now this is what we're getting and if you press the shift tab you will not see any kind of a message or you not see any kind of a syntax of the data frame whatever you supposed to get in order to get this what you have to do is you need to first press escape and now repeat the process is do the shift tab again and this time you can see the syntax of the function or a syntax of the module cool let me create a data frame and this time it's a data and one thing you notice is that this curly braces is autocomplete now and let's create some column one and let's do this is my two and everything is autocomplete this is really awesome df1 okay so this is how we can get the autocomplete feature in the jupyter notebook hope now your autocomplete is working and enjoy with the autocomplete and and develop the code as much you want if you like this video click on this thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel data science anywhere see you in the next video until then happy learning